What up, everybody? Yesterday it was announced there'll be a new spinoff coming to the Power Universe titled Power Origins, revolving around the life of young Ghost and Tommy coming up in the dope game under Kanan and Breeze. But this news also low-key means that Season 4 of Raising Kanan will be the last, especially after the star CEO recently said that it's more cost-effective to cancel a series after Season 3 or 4 and create a subsequent spinoff or even spinoffs instead. This is due to the fact that the cast contracts only last but for so many episodes. And when the series gets to season 3, the contract renewal stages begin to come, then giving all the leverage in the negotiations to the cast because the show needs their presence to continue the storyline. So because the star CEO used the analogy of comparing it to an NBA or NFL salary cap, I'm going to do the same thing when explaining the negotiations after season 3. What then begins to take place is one year or more short-term deals are done at much higher rate per episode, similar to a team franchising a player in the NFL. So since season four will be the last season of Raising Canaan, the big question is, how will it end? Will Marvin, Rock, and Lou survive? And also, what will be the fate of Famous? Because we do know that Canaan, Jukebox, and Breeze will continue to the Power Origin series. One big question going into the Power Origins series is, will Kanan continue to be played by Mikai Curtis, or will there be a time jump between the season finale of Raising Kanan and the first season of Power Origins, where they recast for an older, bigger version of Kanan? But since we already know the fate of Kanan, Jukebox, and Breeze, let me get to the characters whose fate we don't know the end of, starting off with the Thomas family as a whole. And like I've done in other videos, I'm going to break down the power scenes that mention Rock for the new viewers just for one second. Rock was mentioned for the first time in Power Season 2, Episode 2 by Kanan when he first got out of prison. And he told Ghost and Tommy that he just got out and went from seeing his mom and came straight there. But this was never actually seen on camera and Kanan had been out for some weeks before actually coming to see Ghost. Then there was the conflict and report if Kanan had any family living at all after his death in season 5. Because Tariq was watching the news and it said that Kanan had no remaining next to kin. The only family of Kanan that was even mentioned at all was his son Sean. When they said he has a son who was killed a while back and they didn't know if the two crimes were related. It was also Tariq that used a fake ID to pick up Kanan's ashes at the morgue. So because of this report, there are a lot of people who are led to believe that Kanan was actually talking about visiting his mother's grave when he told Ghost that he just came from seeing his mother and came straight there. And that's why neither Ghost or Tommy replied to Kanan to ask how she was or anything like that. But the truth is, we do not know if Rock or any of the other Thomas siblings will survive this series or not. And that's part of the mystery involved in raising Kanan. This was even said by Raising Kanan showrunner Sasha Penn during his interview on the Crew Has It podcast. But there is actually some evidence that points to whoever in the Thomas family makes it out of Raising Kanan alive will end up moving to D.C. Because Kanan went to D.C. multiple times throughout the duration of power, starting in season 2 until the end of season 4 when he returned from D.C. for the final time. There is also the fact that Kanan told Jukebox to move to D.C. specifically and embrace who she really is. Could the fact that Kanan told Jukebox to move to D.C. be because of the fact that they already had family living there? Getting me to the fact that Kanan told Ghost and Tommy he got out of prison, visited his mom, and came straight there. This was meant to sound like it all happened within a couple of hours. But Kanan, knowing he had already been out of prison for a couple of weeks and knowing when someone gets released from prison is public record, most likely knew Ghost would double check to see when he was actually released. So he used going to see his mother, who lived in D.C., as an alibi for where he had been since he got out. When OG Power ended, there were three new spinoffs burned. Book 2, The Continuation of Power, Following the Life of Tariq. Force, Following the Life of Tommy Egan to Chicago. And Raising Canaan, our first prequel. So with that said, there's a good possibility that there will be more than one spinoff series birthed from Raising Canaan as well. The others just won't be announced until the end of Raising Kanan Season 4 after we learn the fate of the rest of the characters. Because personally, I would like to see a spinoff centered around either Marvin or Rock or both of them moving to D.C. and starting a new life. 
I don't think that Lulu will make it out of the Raising Kanan series because Kanan was wearing a couple of his coats in OG Power. Another possibility is that some of the Thomas family will end up in prison. Last time Raising Cain was on our screen, Marvin was at the center of an FBI investigation. And there is a chance that Rock Killing Howard solved that, but there's also a chance that it only creates more problems for Rock and Marvin. But having a character in Raising Cain and getting locked up would only add more suspense to the power universe moving forward with the potential of that character getting out of prison in book two, Force, or another future spin-off. Of course, the Ghost and Tommy spinoff would be the continuation of Raising Canaan, similar to how Book 2 was the continuation of Power. Because they will still be in the same neighborhood, and Kanan, Juke, and Breeze will still all be part of the story, as well as the other characters who survive. Getting me to Famous. Last time we saw Famous, he was in police custody as the suspect in the murder of Freddy, after his mother turned the gun into the cops. So most likely Famous won't make it to the Ghost and Tommy origin series, but will either end up dead or in prison. I mentioned several months ago the possibility that Famous was in prison with Kanan in Season 1 of Power. I have also mentioned in other videos that Kanan names his son Sean after Famous' government name Sean. So because of that, most believe that Famous most likely ends up dead or in prison. But there is a chance that since he's still a juvenile, he won't get that much time. And with a potential time jump going into their origin series, he might just be getting out of juvie when the series starts. And before I go, after all this time, I still got people arguing that Unique isn't Breeze. Must be either new to this channel or just refuse to believe the obvious. Because I have almost 20 videos now dating back two years explaining why Unique is Breeze. And at this point, the only argument I ever hear against it is that they actually really intended on killing Unique off the show but really brought him back when the fans start complaining or some kind of foolishness like that. So Unique can't be Breeze. So you mean to tell me that after the entire season was already released and finished that they brought Joey Badass in to refilm that final scene of the season? That is not how TV production works. This was all part of the plan from the very beginning of Raising Canaan Season 1. The fact that they never showed his body is enough to tell you that they didn't go back and rewrite the entire fourth season just to make Unique alive again. Neither was Ronnie ever supposed to be Breeze. Like I mentioned at the beginning of this video, these actors have contracts. And if Ronnie was actually supposed to be Breeze, he wouldn't have been able to cancel his contract after just one season and go on to take another role. Additionally, Grantham Coleman didn't even land his role on Emperor of Ocean Park until months after Raising Canaan Season 3 was done filming. Then keep in mind when Unique was supposedly dead, Joey Badass did the interview with TMZ telling fans to petition 50 Cent to bring him back. This was obviously a hint that he would be back to the fans who got discouraged and stopped watching the show like he said his father did. They did not rewrite the whole script and bring him back just for the final scene. So I hope this clears it up. No, Unique was never supposed to actually be dead. That's why his body was never shown. All a part of the original plot, despite what they tell you. And yes, Unique is Breeze. And there you have it. Leave your thoughts, theories, and predictions in the comments.